Hello and welcome to this demonstration of how to test for Fourier's, both Isophoria and Exophoria. Now as we saw in the previous video, cover testing is ideal to look for tropias, manifest deviations, whereas Fourier's are only picked up by cover-uncover testing and in extreme cases by the cover-uncover test. Let's demonstrate here. We will cover this patient's left eye and we see absolutely no movement of the right eye and when we uncover there is again no movement of either eye. Let's repeat the same procedure with the right eye. We cover the eye, nothing. We uncover the eye and again there is no movement with this cover uncover test of either eye. It must be said however that in extreme cases where the uh, phoria is quite marked, the eye will likely deviate simply using the cover-uncover test, but not in this particular example. The alternate cover test is what is needed, and this will be demonstrated thus. We move the occluder from one eye to the next, not too quickly. It's important to linger for a short while to dissociate the image in the brain to bring out the full Fourier. As can be seen in this particular case, as the eye is uncovered, the eye flicks outward. Both eyes flick outward. This is the breaking down of the Fourier. Now this is an isophoria as the eye is flicked outward. Now we will demonstrate the same phenomenon with an exophoria, in which the eyes are held together when both are open, but when a fusion breaks down due to the cover-uncover test, uh, we will see what occurs. So we cover the right eye again, nothing. Uncover, nothing. We repeat the procedure as we always should on the contralateral eye. Cover, nothing. No movement at all. Uncover, nothing. And now we again perform the alternating cover test. We swing very carefully back and forth and as we see the eyes flick in as opposed to flicking out. Therefore when fusion has broken down the eyes drift outward and this term is called an exophoria and this can be nicely demonstrated by this software. Thanks for listening.